Here we go. Okay, we're ready. Okay. Hi, my name is Iris Oliver. I'm Norma's cousin. I live in New York. She came from jo Atlanta. No, North Carolina. Charlotte, yeah. To come here and help me with my situation. <laughs> <laughs> my clutter situation in my closet. Um, I've admired a lot of her stuff that she's posted on Facebook. And I've always um, told her the next time she comes up, can she please come and help me? Because I'm a pack rat. So she's here today to help me. And so far, everything looks fabulous. She took some before and after pictures. We're going to post later on, right? Yes. And um, you'll see the difference. I already see the difference. I'm loving it. I suggest you all call her. So you can get her in your town to help you. Have a party, share her, bounce her around from house to house, <laughs> whatever it takes. But you're gonna love it. I'm loving it already. So thank you so much, cousin. Appreciate that. So today, what we did today was go over the closet in her bedroom, and we just had I had her take everything out first, so this way it cut down on the time for how long it's gonna take to get the process done. And so we are sorting through things and making sure that the things that we're putting back in the closet is something that she can use and that she constantly wears and something that she really enjoys. So then once we have all that situated, we come up with a system to kind of minimize the space and make everything fit cohesively and then display everything that's in the closet that uh, fits there. And anything that's extra, we will find another location for it or make more decisions on whether this is something she wants to keep or not. So this is the process of how we um, go through the organizing steps. And also, we are going to be continuing through her linen closet now. And we're going to sort through some shoes and just see what overflow items we had in the home. And so we can uh, minimize those things. All right, so stay tuned for the next video. Thank yeah. you. Okay, so now we're gonna just put the, we're gonna, since we're gonna, we have the closet all organized, we're just gonna put some nice, pretty white rug in there, make the floor look nice and chic. So we give it a nice little layer. Look at the rug when we put the shoe bins in there, and these are the great shoe bins. I love these shoe bins right here. And they have the little drop down doors, and they clear so you can see the shoes. This is so cute. So wait till you see what that looks like. Okay, so this is the part of the house that we're going to start working on now. So we have shoes and we have linen and linen and more linen. <laughs> Lots of shoes. So we're gonna take care of this area here, put these shoes in the closet. And we're gonna work on this linen closet. Let me just take a look in the linen closet, show you the space there, and how we're going to um, put everything back inside. So first, of course, we have to wipe down everything. We have to clean the walls off. We have to sweep the floor, and everything is coming out of this space. And when we put it back, it's nice and clean and fresh. And this is the room where we started at. And as you can see that, we can see the bed now. And there is just a stack right here for bags and um, a little bag of shoes. We have all these hangers left over. Excuse me, all the hangers left over. Because after I put everything back in the closet, we realized we don't need all these hangers because the pants and things like that are on the top shelf. And I use a folding technique um, for the pants, which I'll show you in another video. And then uh, just put the clothes in categories where um, now we have like summer clothes since we're in the season of the warm weather and then all the um anything that's heavy garments or winter sweaters are on the top shelf because she's not going to be using those things right now yeah. all right so and that is the thought process of that and we're going to uh, now work on the shoes so stay tuned
prior to me putting, taking out the clothes, she had me mop the floor, scrub the walls because there was stains on the walls. So she gave me a solution on how to get the stains off as well. So we did that as well too. But this closet does not look like my closet. This closet looked like someone else's closet. I've been in this apartment for 17 years and my closet has never looked like this in 17 years. <laughs> so I want to thank you so much. And I wish I could give her more than what she even charged me because it was worth it. The time spent here, we bonded as well, which was great. Exactly. And I had it all to myself and I didn't tell anybody she was here, which is perfect. <laughs> but my closet, she has before and after pictures. I even have extra hangers that yeah, I've never take had. a look. So this is my closet yes beautiful. can you believe that that's amazing <laughs> everything is at reach i know where everything is i can see everything my jeans are all in one spot she put where that my white jeans and stuff is all together everything is color coordinated at the bottom is my shoes with the containers she even put my little fancy rugs at the bottom on the other end is evening wear which is kind of so she did all that and then she, oh, it's, I can't believe the space because if the hangers are in the closet and they have a space in the closet already, then you know that you can put, you can purchase more items because um, they will fit. So right. now you know how much space you have. So the wooden hangers are for like heavy jackets and things like that. And then anything that's light and airy, um, you know, you put them on these black hangers, which are um, velvet. So the clothes don't slip off the hangers. And it keeps the shape of the clothing. So, and she and, taught me something yeah. too. I um, I have a tendency of hanging up everything. That's just I don't know. I guess I got that. I don't know where I got that from. <laughs> but she explained to me that your sweaters and your ponchos and things of that nature should not be hung because of the fact that it loses its shape. So, right. me personally, I had every pair of jeans on a hanger. I had every sweater on a hanger. Every poncho on a hanger. So she reorganized it and she explained to me how things should work accordingly and how things work. So not only did she fix it, but she educated me as well. So awesome. text her, get in <laughs> contact with her, VX Facebook or Instagram, on Instagram or her website. her website and hit her up and let her come and clean up your closet and make you feel better. start the process of getting organized. And once you get started, you know, you realize how therapeutic it is and how cleansing it is, and, you know, and it just gives you a whole new outlook on things. And then when you uh, want to go shopping, you won't purchase items to mess up your space now because you know, like you don't have enough room for it. So you don't want it to get back cluttered again. So this is why um, it's important to make your closet look like it's um, being used, you know, everything in the closet is being used and it's functional and you're not overwhelming the closet space because you don't want that um, space to be unorganized where you don't even know where things are and you're repurchasing things that you already have. So you have a lot of um, things that you're going to be using on a daily basis and this is something that, you know, makes it more um, efficient for you. Yeah. So, actually, yes. well, thank you so much. I really appreciate you, you are taking welcome. time out on your vacation to do this for me. I forgot to mention that she's on vacation, and I was able to snaggle some of her time to come here and do this for me. So, she did an awesome job. Everything is all well put together. I just hope I can keep it that way. And she also explained to me just because you have empty hangers doesn't mean you need to put things on them. So, right, right. I was able to, I have empty hangers. So I'm going to try to take her great advice and not go to stores and purchase anything right now. <laughs> well, at least if you did, yeah. and you know you have room for that stuff, right. you know, so it won't still look overwhelmed uh, in the space. Because if the hangers are in the closet and they have a space in the closet already, then you know that you can put, you can purchase more items because um, they will fit. So right. now you know how much space you have. So the wooden hangers are for like heavy jackets and things like that. And then anything that's light and airy, um, you know, you put them on these black hangers, which are um, velvet, so the clothes don't slip off the hangers. And it keeps the shape of the clothing. So, And she and, taught me something, yeah. too. I, um, I have a tendency of hanging up everything. That's just, I don't know. I guess I got that. I don't know where I got that from. <laughs> but she explained to me that your sweaters and your ponchos and things of that nature should not be hung because of the fact that it loses its shape. 
So right. me personally, I had every pair of jeans on a hanger. I had every sweater on a hanger, every poncho on a hanger. So she reorganized it and she explained to me how things should work accordingly and how things work. So not only did she fix it, but she educated me as well. So awesome. text her, <laughs> contact with her, VX Facebook or Instagram, on Instagram or website. her website and hit her up and let her come and clean up your closet and make you feel better. Trust me. It does, it make you feel better. I would just push it and push it and push it in two different closets. <laughs>